Okay, so for breakfast this morning, I'm having half of a grapefruit, one slice of bacon, one egg, and I ended up putting the bacon crumbled on top of this half of a sweet potato, half a cup of blueberries, and five smokehouse almonds. This was delicious. Absolutely enjoyed that part. Put some sugar-free syrup on this morning. Didn't need it, but it was, it was pretty good. Okay, so later on, I needed to take a snack with me. I was on the go, cheese stick, two tablespoons of hummus, and some pea pods. Um, oh, and then I brought it home because I didn't need it. <laughs> I brought it home and had it for lunch with an egg and some chicken soup. Um, I was just able to wait. And then um, later on for dinner, I just ended up having a little ground beef in an opened sweet potato and some salad. And I had an orange for dessert. Here's my miles. I got plenty of walking in today. Um, and then the next day, now this, I have to tell you, is probably the best smoothie I've ever made, and I have made a lot. Two of those cups of uh, spinach, a half of a scoop of this meal here, uh, protein mix, half of a sweet potato, and then a quarter cup of the nonfat yogurt, one tablespoon of this sunflower butter. It was so good one cup of the unsweetened cashew milk and a couple of teaspoons of this sugar-free vanilla syrup and i whirled it up in the blender oh my goodness you guys this was amazing i added a little bit of cinnamon and that just tipped it off great and i'm going to put it in my cup that was sent to me by anita from chit chat patty whack i love this water cup and there's water in here too anita so when this gets done i will put more water in it it fits perfectly in this cup. I'm going to enjoy this. And I tell you what, I have to say this was the most enjoyable smoothie I've had in a long time. Here is, um, these are the nutrients that were just in the smoothie alone. Okay, now I am, look at that stuck right there. I'm getting ready. I'm doing some weekly prep. Um, I've got this chicken, chicken breast that's going to go in the oven. I've made tons of asparagus. My sweet potatoes are done. Asparagus is so awesome for getting your folate in. I also have a pork roast in here with garlic and onions for the week. Um, and that's going to slow cook for the rest of the day. I even made a two-point enchilada bake to prep breakfast for the week. Oh, and then for lunch, I'm having some tuna and some of this uh, asparagus and a little bit of chicken soup. All right, I felt like challenging myself on the Fitbit, and I went on the Yosemite Trail, <laughs> one of the trails, and I earned a helicopter award. I thought that was exciting. It was like 25 flights of stairs. Plus, I got the Redwood badge, which is amazing. I'm so proud of myself that day. Here's my steps. Hey everybody, it is Wednesday morning and I owe you a recap of the sweet potato challenge. I challenged myself, for those of you who do not know, uh, to take out the starchy carbs that were grain and flour related. I took them all out and I wanted to replace them with sweet potatoes, right? And the reason why I did that was not because uh, of quick weight loss, although that actually happened, which was awesome, but um, because I needed to refocus my mind a bit and I needed to get away from some of the carbs that were becoming more gateway to other carbs that I didn't need to have. And I realized they were, um, I mean, if I'm having a carb that's going to open gateway to another carb and that I just kind of want to keep eating, I'm not being satisfied. Something is not being satisfied and I wanted to get it set at that level, right? I shouldn't have to keep spending money looking and looking and looking for other things that are going to fill in a void that's there and that feel like it's never really fully getting met. A few things, I just wrote down a few little pros. I was trying to write down some cons, but I had a real hard time coming up with some of the negatives to do in the sweet potato challenge. Um, so um, anyway, number one, the reason, I think one of the things that really struck me about this is that it kept me full, satiated, satisfied, fixed my sweet tooth, I felt like I could have my cake and eat it too. If I did want something sweet and I would have some sweet potato, boom, I was done. It just kept me level and focused and thinking straightforward. And I felt so undeprived. 
I don't know how else to put it. It was just amazing. I gave myself a maximum of two cups a day of sweet potatoes, right? And two cups is a lot of sweet potato. I can't eat, I could never eat two cups at any one time. Um, in fact, what ended up happening was I ended up dropping my daily to, although I left my maximum time, you know, amount there, I actually dropped it down to like one cup per day. So I'd have like half a cup per two meals. And then for one meal, I ended up having like more of a low carb thing, right? Because I found that lunchtime, I was still so satiated on, you know, on the blood sugar level from my sweet potato at breakfast that I didn't actually need one at lunchtime. But I did want one at dinner, plus that kind of carb before, before bedtime kind of helped my serotonin levels and helped me get ready and I slept really good too, which was another uh, really good side effect from this. Um, so anyway, that part of it was all good. Again, the weight loss, um, I dropped 1.6 as of last Thursday and then tomorrow I'm gonna weigh again so I'll find out what happened during the second half. I may have put on, I may have stayed the same, maybe I dropped a couple ounces, who knows. We'll find, find out what's happening and I'll let you know in the next video. Um, the next thing, a pro, pro point uh, that I would have to say is a pro, not a con, is the amount of vitamin and nutrients in every sweet potato is like phenomenal. I mean, I got like 2,500 grams, milligrams of uh, vitamin A in one sweet potato. I got a whole day of fiber in one sweet potato. That's crazy. And it's soluble fiber, so it's like super, super nice and smooth on your digestion and helpful. I mean, it's it's easy on your digestion, right? I mean, this is, it's like, for me, it feels like, it's almost like this was the food made to keep you running smooth, right? And it's like, this is like the ultimate fiber here. It's, it's great. The vitamin C, the calcium, the iron again. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I did eat the skins. I know I did buy organic, but it's not terribly important to buy organic and sweet potatoes, but I did eat the skin because there's a lot of minerals in that from the earth, right? And I wanted to buy organic because um, I'm hoping that maybe the soil in the organic one would be maybe a little bit more enriched, right? Um, and I love that crunchiness. Now, my favorite way to cook them is baking them because I feel like it holds on to more flavor. I don't want to steam them because I feel like I lose some of that flavor. But if I do steam them, if you do cook them and you boil them and you steam them, from what I've heard, use that water for like to nourish your skin. I guess it's supposed to be really good for your skin because of the vitamin A in it, um, which I haven't done yet because I've been baking mine, but I might, cho I might choose to do that. Um, so good, good, good all there, right? On, on weight loss, on fiber, on fullness, um, energy. How did I feel with that amount of energy? Like I said, I don't feel like I was deprived in any way. I've still worked out. You saw my steps. I was getting in like buku steps all the time and I never felt like I was running low on gas. I mean, it just really, really was like the most excellent energy to burn. So for that, I highly recommend it as well. Habits, the reason why I did this in the first place. Did I feel that they changed my habits? Um, yes, I felt like it made me not want junk food. It took away all of my cravings. Um, I found myself wanting to eat um, you know, a cleaner diet and I wanted sweet potato. I started recognizing that as, oh, I'm looking for a sweet potato. And I started rethinking. And um, when we went out, once we went out on a date on Saturday night, hubby and I, and we went to the buffet, which we haven't been to for a while. And um, I stayed with my same dinner and I got a really big sweet potato, not a really big, a medium sweet potato, and I was good. And just because I was feeling like I wanted to do, I wanted to try this out, because I wanted to see how it would uh, affect me being on the sweet potato challenge. So after dinner, I got something sweet and that had sugar in it. And it was okay. Um, I don't feel like I absolutely needed it. But then the next day, what I noticed was the sugar I had that night got me looking for sugar the next day which uh, what, I, what I ended up doing was going for a sweet potato and then I was cool and it brought me down and I was okay. Um, but I thought that was really interesting. I wanted to do that on purpose 
because I wanted to report to you how that affected me. Um, so I thought that was really interesting because it, the, having sugar got my sugar cravings going again. So um, will I continue to do this? Now I said I was going to reassess this after seven days. Um, and I would have to you say know, the only con I would say um, I could see in this was I it was going to be the variables, right? Oh, well, it's not variable enough, you know, in this, you need more of a variety, you know, maybe it's just too sweet potato. But you know what? I don't have a problem with that. And there are so many different types of sweet potatoes and so many ways to make them that that's not a problem for me. So really, I really can't see anything negative about this <laughs> at all. Um, cost, it's extremely effective. Uh, they go a long way. You get it all done at the beginning of the week. In fact, I wanted to point this out because this is a really good point as far as digestion goes. Now, when you cook a sweet potato or a potato for that matter, um, and you eat it right away, right? It's nice and fluffy and all that. But when you put it in the fridge, you cool it down and then you reheat it again. Um, a potato is resistant starch. So it's a starch that you're not going to be able to absorb, which means it's really good for weight loss, right? But every time you cool it down, reheat it and cool it down, this starch becomes even more increasingly resistant. So it becomes better and better for weight loss every time you cool it down and then reheat it. So all of mine I make at the beginning of the week and then I've been putting them in the fridge, cooling them down so that when I reheat them, the resistant starch is increased and that's even better. So that's a great tip. I thought, you know, I'd pass that on. Um, I am going to continue this, maybe not call it a challenge, but I'm just going to continue this as a way of eating. Uh, for the most part, I'm still going to go out, you know, I'll have something once in a while, but this is going to be it for a little bit because it's really helping me to reach my goal and so, and to stay focused. So I'm going to continue this and I do want to, um, I want to thank there's people who are watching, there's viewers who have already bought their sweet potatoes who are coming on board with this. So I'm, I'm saying go for it. I'm here. I'm going to spur you on. I'm going to try to come up with some more recipes. Um, I just want to encourage everybody who is going to be doing this to really, really try to leave off the butter and, you know, definitely the sugar and marshmallows and all that kind of stuff. Just to have the sweet potatoes. Although you can add the butter. If you're on Weight Watchers, you know you have to count the points for the butter, and I did not want to do that. So I kept that off, and I'm glad that I did. Um, but anyway, I would, if it, so my advice is to just leave everything off and count on the sweet potatoes, unless you're cooking it with other things, you know, then that's fine. But um, anyway, I'm going to tag Number one, anyone who wants to do this, right? And then specifically, I'm going to get some specific people here tagged. And that is number one, Jess from Journey to Healthy, Weight Watchers Journey to Healthy. Um, she comes up with some really great recipes, and I do like to see when she does challenges. I don't know if, you, now again, if I'm tagging you, don't feel like you have to do these at all. All is good. It's okay. Um, and then if you do do them, do them when your budget allows, or if you've already been shopping, no worries, maybe another week, you know what I mean? But, um, but I'd love to see if you do do it. Let me know, and I'll watch you. So number two, Sue from Slu Sue Slims Down. I've been watching you, Sue, and you said you canned a lot of sweet potatoes. I think this would be a great time to use them. Um, let's see. Kelly from Freedom in a Budget. Um, I like it when she does uh, challenges as well. Although I don't know if she'll do it now because she's doing intermittent fasting. Uh, but Kelly, I would love to see it if you would do this. A seven day sweet potato challenge would be amazing. Um, and you know what? I think Sandy said that she doesn't do challenges. But if you ever felt like doing a, a challenge, Sandy from Let's Get Fit, Get Fit with Sandy, um, do this one. <laughs> I would love to see it. Um, but anyway, so the challenge is, again, for seven days to replace all of your flour and grain carbs with sweet potatoes. And, um, and I highly recommend that you keep out other sweets as well. Before you want another sweet, have the sweet potato and see if you still want something else because my ch my uh, guess is that you're not going to want it. Um, so anyway, I want to thank you guys for coming along with me and sharing my challenge with me. And I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.